round one. Well, I mean, it can't really be based on... Well, Fight. technically is based on my decisions, but I can't control what happens. If a random emergency happens or anything like that, anything of the sort of similar effect, or if the player suddenly doesn't want to play anymore, there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> Ten minute drive? Oh, so Gamma na lang. Hindi naman si Raph. Or Raph versus Gamma. Ah, yeah, I like that. I like that more. Raph versus Gamma. Round two. And then Pastor Hokage versus Question Mark. No, that was the time, what do you call that? We were just saying everyone's a bird. <laughs> Sugar loves that kind of cheese. Yeah, you're after this, uh, Gio. Both you and Nate are after this. I hope you're having a cheesy day too, Cleaser. Can Argus be your opponent? Argus, are you willing? Do you want to play tonight? <laughs> Just let me know. Okay, so this is how I'm going to do the pin comment now. I'm going to do set matches. I'm going to create a completely new comment. By, oh yeah, I also forgot to drop that poll and create a new poll. Who will win Chief? Will it be Boo? And then how many asterisks for you? E, R... Oh, it's in caps. One, two, three, four, E. Save. Already has a two-round lead here in this first of three. It's like playing in the grand finals once more or loser's finals. Ang Elan, where's Raf here? Oh no, if I keep Raf versus Hokage. Well, he technically does not get compromised because I'll still keep him on the list. So his opponent needs to go up. So I try to move their set up, is what I do. And then if the other player is not available at that time, I'll give the opponent who wanted a set earlier a different opponent. But they're still part of the list. Which means they'll still play a set at the time that it's supposedly their time. You win. But I mean, yeah, you know, handling this stuff is not exactly easy. So it's just... You know, oh, I never centered that. Oh, that's on me. LeBron's Kingdom's Wade's house. Wait, why are we talking about man? Is that the Miami Big Three? <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about about the Miami Big Three? G? Okay. Don Argus. Hold on. Give me a second. Uh, this is how it currently looks like. I would update the pin comment. I really would. I would edit that pin comment and all you have to do is just like, what do you call this? KO. Refresh the stream. But it is what it is. Fight. Even streaming here is not perfect. Part of it. And then, oh, though I'll put in the walk-in list also. Walk-in players. And then just copy this. Wait, let me double check the Ericsson one. Uh, oh, whoa, someone sent me a message on Steam. I forgot about that. Give me a second too. Very busy here. I don't have you on Steam? Oh, I don't. Okay, okay. Interesting. I do not. Uh, this is Brandon. Uh, Dojang exhibition sets. Exhibition sets tonight. You no, know, I'll just leave it as Ericsson. Never mind. Copy paste this then. Oh, wait, it's not one, all right. This is the second game. Man. All right, that's how it looks like right now. Unpin this, in that. Wesley loves the kind of cheese. That's what it currently looks like. So I guess you don't have to refresh the stream for that. Beautiful parry on the Razor Rush for Boo. KO. Final round. Fight. They're over here at Hammerhead, the home court of several players here in the Dojang. 
Looking for an opening. 10 seconds have passed. Slowly earning some wall position, but earning P, fighting out of it. Going for the basic down four to poke out some damage. Oh, there you go. Position almost acquired. But I, that move, that's really, really evasive. And hit confirmable too. One, two, flip over. 24. And just doing goat things is earning P. Decide where we're going to go. Shock has been two games. Don't forget it, Frontier. Alright, the fall. Saying it's in Boo's favor. 63% audience confidence and 38% for earning P. But currently has a two game lead here in Dojang exhibitions in this first three. What a god fist with punish. Letting it rip. Keeping on the floor. Oh, misses out the FF3 there for extra damage. Beautiful parry to get the plus frames. But avoiding standing four. It's like, no homing move works on me. No, it doesn't. Defying the laws of Tekken right now. 25 seconds left on the clock. And neither player has rage just yet. But Earning P getting the launch. It will not kill. Not yet. Oh, that counter hit was big. Ended on the rage right and you're good to go. Jin locking it in, and we get the auras. Crim loves that kind of cheese. That was like JoJo, wasn't it? Part what? What's your favorite part of JoJo? I know people have different favorite parts. It's like, what part do you like? Oh, why that part? And it's, it's just commonplace for JoJo fans. You can, but you like JoJo. Basta any part. <laughs> or maybe it's a mix. Maybe some parts of part one. Maybe some parts of part three. Not one part, but a mixture. I don't know, what kind of cheese do you like? As Earning P here. Slowly losing HP. Boo with a massive life lead. Low parry on point. Zazen 1-3 I see. Yes it is. And the wake up DF1. Boo mentality ending it on 24. Spacing it out again. And with a two-game lead, there's more leeway to experiment and test some stuff. Beautiful Magic 4 conversion there. Off-stream DM, DM na lang. What the? Like, if you don't want to play a set tonight, it's all good. I'll just move him around with another, what do you call that, walk-in player. Oh, wall splat. Re-splat, there you go, extra damage. Another one? Kaito, down back, 2-3. I remember when that move first released in Tekken 6. I was like, Hali. Round one. Fight. They not marketing it no more. Oh no. But swapping outfits, sometimes that's the trick, right? You've been staying on one outfit for so long, just swap to another outfit. One, two, three. Ooh, the mix. 2-1 right now. Just needs three more rounds to seal the deal. Is that round number one? I spy with my little eye. A pixel of health remaining. Rage drive and a dream for Boo. Just needs a, a god fist or a hell sweep. And then on the RA to be safe. Exactly, the outfit swap. That's all you need. It gives you the energy and a fresh state of mind. A forward two, preventing the swap into stance for Razor Rush. Oh, big counter hit. Earning P. Getting some damage and position at the same time. Walk up down four, but that is, I believe, negative on hit. Lay players, feel free to let us know in chat if that was wrong. <laughs> it's actually plus. Oh, okay. Low parry. Is that another RA? It is. Is it enough to kill? Maybe. Your HP is pretty low. Almost. Almost there. A pixel of health now for earning P. Delaying the back to one. But yeah, that is more negative on block. Around negative seven, eight, nine. Roughly around that range. Basing it out and boo. 
Continuously going in. Corpse thrust. You don't see that move very often. Big counter hit on Zen. On Zen 4. F4, not Zen 4. There you go, Argus. You got your answer. Tomorrow, probably though. Beautiful block on the down back for earning P, seeing that a mile away, adding the pressure. But another hell sweep. Oh, straight axis hell sweep. That is big. F4 just whiffing out there. Both players have rage available. The whiff though. Round four. Fight. Still, earning P has a one game lead here in the first to three. Maybe has enough information from Boo's adjustments to make something happen. And speaking of which, asking you shall receive seven slices of cheese for earning P. Final round, it all boils down to this. Facing it out. Boo, staying very calm here. Has the composure. 214, delaying it for max effect. Yeah, see, so you're gonna take, you're gonna get your death match. So yeah, so yeah, so a different player. So question mark. So it'll most likely be a walk-in player, or not? What? Well, not a walk-in player. One, two, three. Oh, beautiful Sabaki on the Razor Rush and Boo staying alive here. Round one. Fight. Arctic Snowfall is the stage of choice. Okay, that's kind of slightly in Lay's favor. But I mean, we'll see how it goes. I have one friend. Only one friend in the mutual? Wait, who are you then? Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. Why is the nickname Brandon? Wait a minute. Okay, so it's not B Brandon TR. Okay. Wait, then who are you? Wait a minute. It's not, this is not Edward. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. I don't know, I don't remember who you are, but... Can walk in. But no guarantees that... Oh, that's not how you spell guarantee. Guarantees that... Your set may be good. One, two, all right, has rage. Oh, and already has a round. That works. Lay players, take notes. Magic core into RA as earning P. The mentality working out. The earning P mentality. <laughs> yeah, because it ended on 24 seconds. <laughs> but going straight for the hell sweep, Boo not wasting any time, looking to catch up in terms of rounds. This is the last game, after all, for the second set of the 41st edition of Dojang Exhibitions. So that's another player, Brandon. In rage already, big counter hit on the low. Still a big hill to climb for Boo. Needs to get two rounds and needs to get this one. Anything can happen, most especially when your opponent has a dream. He's gonna have to wake up from it. Again, if you were all the way in the fifth gear, just bring it down to the third or second. <laughs> so is it, exactly. Again, on point with the Sabaki versus the Razor Rush, denying Lei that option. DF1 forward him out of the stance. Just really waiting for that opening here. Down four. The Whiff God Fist. Again, this is in Tekken 8, so no massive pushback on that 2 1 4. Oh no, big launch, but unable to salvage the combo. But we'll get the damage in another way. This will not kill. However, a pixel of Elf remains goes on the floor for two slices of red cheese. Again, good games to both players. Good game. So, as time goes by, right? Oh. Wait, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> because AOP beats, what do you call that? For F1 plus 2, the double hand press. 
Not exactly a great idea.